Hello everyone. Today I will show you how to find the density of an object. Here we have taken a spring balance, an object whose density has to be measured, and this is a measuring cylinder with which we can measure the volume of the object. First of all, we define what is the density. We know that density is mass per unit volume, right? The density, the definition of density is density is equal to mass per volume. That means you have to find first the mass of the object and then volume of the object. And if we divide mass by volume, we get the density of the object, right? Let us find first the mass of the object, right? With the spring balance, let us find what is the mass of this object, right? Let us find. Now you see here, if we try to find the mass of the object, what is the reading? You see here, the reading is I see. This is our spring balance. Here we have taken it, and let us find what is the mass of the object. Here you see. First of all, we have to find the list count. Here you see, there are one, two, three, four, five. Five divisions means one hundred gram. Therefore, one division is equal to twenty gram, right? Here you see that is the division is one two three four five five division means one hundred gram. Therefore, we can say that one division equal to twenty gram. Now we find the mass of this object. That is the mass is here you see find the reading is nearly four divisions. Here you see nearly it is four division. That means four means eighty gram. Here you see, this is approximately eighty gram. See the reading; it is near the eighty gram, right? Therefore, the mass of the object is eighty gram, right? Now you have to find the volume. You have written that mass of the object is equal to eighty gram. Let us write. Mass of the object is equal to eighty gram. Mass of the object is equal to eighty gram. Here you have written that mass of the object is eighty gram. Here you see mass of the object is eighty gram. Now we have to find the volume of the object. For volume of the object, what we have to do? First of all, we have to take water. We have taken water in this beaker, and let us read the reading of the beaker. Initial reading. You see here, the reading is. You see, the reading of the water is approximately. Twenty milliliter. You see here, or can see it in a better way. Let us show you the reading, initial reading of water. Here we are finding the initial reading of water as you see very clearly that the initial reading of the water is twenty milliliter. You can see in a better way if you put this white paper. And you see the initial reading of the water level is twenty milliliter. You see here, this is exactly twenty. You can even see here in this way also. You see the level of water is now twenty milliliter, right? Initial reading is twenty. We have written here. You see here. 
that initial reading is 20 milliliter. Now, if we dip the object, let us find the final reading or volume of the object. We are dipping this subject in this cylinder. Here you see, we are dipping this object in this cylinder and let us see the level of rise of water. We are dipping this in the water and let us see the level of water. Here you see, we get the level of water rises and what is the value you see here the level of water you see if that is more than 30 30 right it is more than 30 see the level it is more than 30 let us take it as 0.5 that is 30.5 milliliter right initial volume was 20 milliliter and now the volume the level of water rises to 30.5 you see here it is exactly more than 30 let us take it as 30.5 milliliter you see it here it is this level of water it is 30 therefore we are finding that the level of this is 30.5 now we will find the volume of the object right now you see here let us find the calculation now here we have calculated it let us find here we have taken you see here you see we have taken the mass of the object as 80 gram let us focus at on better right here you see mass of the object as 80 gram and initial reading is 20 milliliter and final reading is 30.5 milliliter therefore volume of the object equal to 30.5 minus 20 that is 10.5 milliliter okay and we know that the density equal to mass by volume density equal to mass by volume of the object mass of the object is 80 gram and we found that volume of the object is 10.5 milliliter right if we divide 80 by 10.5 we are getting 7.61 gram per milliliter 